I spent the most incredible nine years of my life supporting her and admiring her while she was making history. We have become more than a coach and a player after nine years. We have become friends and uh, almost family. So I know that whatever happens in my life, I can count on her, and whatever happens in her life, she can count on me. She's the most incredible athlete that I have ever seen. Please welcome Serena Williams. today that he wanted me to give you guys a speech. So I said, all right, well, let me see what I can do. Um, so one thing I would like to say, when I was about your age, I learned about the fundamental um, principles of success in life. And one of those fundaments was enjoy what you do. Don't let anyone work harder than you. Believe in you, no matter where you're from or where you came from, anything about your background and dream big. Also manifestation, so I think that's five. So I'm gonna dive a little deeper into each one. The first one is enjoy what you do. I've been playing tennis um, longer than you guys have been alive, which I know it doesn't look like it, <laughs> but um, <laughs> I have been. And the only conclusion I could come to is that at the end of the day, I really enjoy what I do and I love it. So it doesn't matter whether you are off to being a doctor or, 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 you know, a rocket scientist, a tennis player, whatever it is that you want to do, I found out that if you enjoy it, you are really good at it. And then I look at, because I'm in sports, I'm going to give you a few sports examples. I think of Michael Jordan and that guy never played basketball to like make money. He played because he loved what he did and you could see the passion that he had when he was out there and he absolutely enjoyed every minute of that. So I would definitely say that's one thing that you wanna take with you is enjoy what you do and that is one way you will always be able to find success, not only in life, but also success in your mind and you'll also be happy with that as well. Um, so the next one was don't work, let anyone work harder than you. And that's something that I've lived by for a long time in my life. And one thing I used to say when I was younger, I would say, well, I got to go out because there's someone, no offense, okay? But I said, I got to go work out because there's someone in Russia that wants to be number one and I got to work harder than them. <laughs> So there was lots of players, incidentally, that was from Russia that was playing really hard, but that was something that always made me, even though I, I was living in California, in Compton, California, and I didn't know anything about the world, I just knew that there was someone somewhere working just as hard as me, and I wouldn't let them outwork me. So again, whatever you want to do, always understand that in order to be successful, you have to work hard. It's not going to just kind of show up in your lap if you have to really just enjoy it and work hard. Another one is to believe in you, no matter what. Um, there's a lot of people that say you can't do this or you can't do that or you're not going to be good enough or you can't. Can't is a huge word out there, but when someone tells me I can't, really what that means is that they can't and they'll never do it. So that's what they're saying. What they're really saying to you is that I can't, and they're trying to stop you from achieving your dreams. So don't forget that. So whenever anyone says you can't or you're not good enough, just know that you really are, and they're just probably jealous of you. 
Um, dream big. Now I'm gonna throw my coach under the bus, Patrick. He's a really good coach, by the way. Um, he, and th this also kind of goes under manifestation as well. So I'm gonna, in positive thinking, so I'm gonna combine those two so I don't bore you to death. Um, so one story Patrick told me a really long time ago was he said he always had a dream of Serena Williams showing up at his academy. And he had this like vision and he just knew it was gonna happen. So, <laughs> so one day, um, and hopefully this vision didn't bring this loss to me, but one day I lost in the first round of the French Open. And um, things happened and one thing led to another and I didn't wanna leave France. I was just like, I don't wanna go home. I never lost that early. I actually never lost in the first round of the Grand Slam. And um, I remember thinking, I just don't wanna go home. So I ended up talking to a friend of mine who was going to the Maratu Academy. And you know, he's like, you should come. And I was like, all right, well, yeah, I can train here. I can still be in Paris and live, you know, just, I mean, Americans love Paris, right? So, um, so I um, walked in there and years later, Patrick told me that he had visualized that moment and that's the power of manifestation and that's the power of visualization because he literally visualized me of all people and i never you know went to academies outside of america i had never done anything I, I only had my dad as a coach for my whole life and i never envisioned anything else but i really do believe in the law of attraction and i really believe in manifestation and I believe in visualization. Now, this guy has some crazy visualizing powers. Visualize my mood and visualize my mood and visualize my um, So he really was able to make that happen. So that's just a really interesting example of how when you focus on something and you really want it and you dream about it and you think about it and you visualize it, things can really happen in, in your life. So that's really important. You literally have your whole life ahead of you. Make the best of it. My, I have a lot of my life ahead of me too, but really the, the best years are like, you know, halfway there, I'm halfway to the end of my journey, but you guys are not even halfway there. Um, but you should really make the best of it, because I can tell you that I've had a wonderful time. I've had, and I don't have a lot of regrets, you know? I just feel like everything I did, I do wholeheartedly. Even if it's smashing a racket, I do that wholeheartedly, and that is probably not a good example. Um, but everything I do, I do it, and that's really important for you guys to take away, because when you look back and you're a little bit older, you know, in your 30s or 40s, then, um, you know, you wanna realize that you did everything you did to be who you are. And everything that you go through from now on will create who you are. Whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, use those moments because that, those moments always make you stronger. So alongside the best coaches that you guys here have here and the best teachers and the best environment, um, you've definitely have matured into amazing young adults that you are today. And the Maratha Blue Academy is definitely with giving you the best resources to help you achieve whatever dream and all your dreams that you want to treat. So now is the time to make that happen. And you are at the best place led by the best person to allow and to make that happen. Hooray!